Hi, I'm Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of today's newsletter is going to be why you shouldn't mow another man's lawn to steal his girl. Well, in this particular email, this is a real gem. We've got a guy who has stepped up to the plate. He's Mr. White Knight, Mr. Captain Sabaho. And so apparently he had a one night stand with this woman who actually has a boyfriend. He's obviously not really thinking straight, and he's thinking, hey, how do I make her mine? This is great. Because what do you see in the movies a lot? You you see oftentimes a guy's with a girl, and he's really not that into her, and there's this really beautiful, amazing girl, and she's kind of with this guy. It's a douche. And the two of them meet, and he likes her. She kind of likes him. There's chemistry there. And the whole movie is about how do you basically – because – Neither one of them is happy in a relationship. How do you rip off the other dude's chick? And then, of course, it happens, and then they live happily ever after. But in the real world, you know, this is how you get your ass beat. This is how bad things happen to you. I just saw a um, – this was yesterday on Twitter. There was a, a guy who found out that his wife was cheating on him with somebody. And so he went to wherever they were, and you can see this on video. It was, it was on my, it was on Twitter. It was, it was shocking. And so he shoots the, it shoots and kills the, her lover, and she's screaming hysterically about it. And then he takes the gun and points it at his head and shoots and kills himself. And so she's there with her lover and her husband dead. And it's like, you know, that poor guy, the the dude that did that. It's like. That chick was not worth it. So it's like what, that guy took his own life. He took somebody else's life instead of just saying, I'm going to replace your ass. I'll find somebody better. But instead, he had a scarcity mindset. He probably didn't understand how attraction works. And to him, that was a good outcome was to get revenge on the guy that ripped off his girl. And he took the guy's life, shot him multiple times in front of her, kept shooting him. And once he, that guy was dead and he, you know, realized, you know, he's watching his wife just hysterical over her lover and she really just didn't give a damn about him. And then he kills himself. It's like she doesn't even care. And then she goes back to crying and being upset over, over the guy that she was cheating on him with. It's like that's a horrible tragedy. I mean, that's worst case. And so I'm telling you this because these things happen. You don't want to be the dude trying to steal some other guy's wife because you don't know what his mental state is. You don't know what he's thinking. It's just not worth it. But So with that in mind, let's go through his email. <clears throat> he says, hello, coach. I wanted to thank you very much for sharing your knowledge with us and helping me specifically become a better person. After reading your book 20 plus times, 20 times, and he's still trying to rip off some other guy's chick. And watching your videos almost every day, I can truthfully say your teachings work and are also very effective. It's like, yeah, obviously. That's why I say all the time, if you think I'm full of crap, I mean, I'm, I don't look like the type of guy that should know this stuff or be an expert at it, but when you apply the stuff that's in my book, 3% Man, it's like you're going to get way better results than you ever got on your own doing what you were doing before. He says, before reading your book, I screwed up so many opportunities by being desperate, needy, and a spineless nice guy. I met a girl through mutual friends, and I honestly didn't think too much of her at the moment. She's very attractive, and a lot of guys would always flirt and hit on her. So keep in mind, she has a boyfriend, right? Guys are always hitting on her and flirting with her. What does that tell you? She's not very loyal. She's given other men the green light to hit on her. Obviously, like the woman I was talking about who basically watched her lover get murdered in front of her and then saw her husband, who she was cheating on, shoot himself in front of her. It's like, that that chick's not loyal. She wasn't worth it. She wasn't worth his life or even, you know, he should have had the attitude. Oh, oh you want her? It's like, you can have her. She's all yours, man. He says, I would tease her in a mean but funny way like your book says you should do. Treat her like a bratty little sister. She would first look a little offended, but I would laugh after I gave, but would laugh after I gave her that James Bond smirk. Yeah, because a little smirk. To... There's a, the movie, it, the Casino Royale, where they're in front of the fountain. That uh, I can't remember the actress's name. She's really beautiful. Black hair. 
and she's like the girlfriend or the wife of this really bad guy that James Bond is pursuing. And he sees her and invites her to come have a drink with him. And she kind of looks at him, gives him a real dirty look at first, like, how dare you? I'm married or I'm taken. And he just kind of smirks at her with like that boyish charm. And then she laughs. And she's like, are you staying far from here? He's like, I'm really close. She hops in his car. They try around the circle once because he's staying at the same hotel. And they get out. They go back to his room and they have sex. But that is a great moment. And if you haven't seen Casino Royale, that's one of the the best instances of playfulness and naughtiness and the bratty little sister and the James Bond 007 all rolled into one. She initially looks at him like, how dare you? I'm... I'm taken. Almost like a disgusted look in her eye. And he just smirks at her. Because it's like deep down, he, he understands how women are. And she's feigning that she's upset. But it's like, he knows she's not really upset. Because they've been flirtatious. And it's the testing of the strength. That last minute test to see, are you really a man? He smirks at her and she's like, okay, he gets it. And then she goes home with him. There were times where we were with a group of people and she would come where I was, talk, and then leave. But the before me would follow her around, but I stayed put where I was and thought, girls are like cats, she'll come back. And surprisingly, she would and would talk to me more. Yep. Indifference makes the difference. It's your inaction that's so extremely attractive to women. At first, and honestly, I didn't have any intentions, but one night... We were drinking and she started to tell me about all the guys she was with and how they were pleasers and bought her stuff, made her songs, etc. And she started to touch me and all the signs were there. So I grabbed her by the waist and we kissed passionately and we did four rounds of the Indoor Olympics that night. After sobering up, we went to get a meal. I mean, these things happen. If you like a girl, she likes you, but she's taken and alcohol is involved and you're young and dumb and full of cum and... Bad things can happen. Of course, I'm an innocent child of God. After sobering up, we went to get a meal. And you can imagine how hungry I was, haha, and I ate two pizzas. On the way, straight up, she told me she liked me. And I said, what do you mean? Her response was, you're just very masculine. By the way, I'm average height and I'm fit, but sometimes I get insecure about my height. When we got back home, we went at it again. I kid you not that we were doing it. And she said she wanted my babies, haha. What does that tell you? It's the heat of the passionate moments. Like it, it was nice. It's a nice thing, but don't don't get drunk on that. The only issue and concern I have is that she's dating someone, and I don't see her as more than a fuck buddy. It was like, no, you're the other guy. Well, in the extreme case, we don't know what this other dude is like. It's clear there's you're not the only guy. She likes attention from other men. She doesn't really seem like the type of girl that wants to be loyal, especially if she's dating somebody. So she's got a boyfriend, she's dating somebody, and yet she fucks you four times in one night. That tells you everything you need to know. That that hoe ain't loyal. This is a girl to have fun with, fuck buddy, friends with benefits, sex playmate, but she's got a boyfriend. You're mowing some other guy's lawn. And more than likely, he probably knows that she's always inviting attention from other men and talking to other guys. And again, it's just not worth it. It's like, hey, you had fun. But if it was me, and, and, you know, it's like this is the kind of thing that happens. And, you know, you, the next day you're like, holy shit, I can't believe I slept with that girl. She's totally married or she's totally got a boyfriend. And that boyfriend would kick my ass if he found out. It's like, what was I thinking? I was like, well, you probably shouldn't drink too much and hang out with women who have loose morals and aren't really loyal because you wake up the next day and you're like damn that was not my best moment i was not thinking very clearly probably shouldn't do that again but he wakes up the next day and he's like this is great let's let's get after it again she's always complaining about her man and sometimes i don't know how to respond to that except just listen <laughs> she's a very nice feminine girl yeah it's real nice cheating on her boyfriend She's complaining about the guy she's with while you're beating up her pelvis. But there has been times where she tells me she has suicidal thoughts. How should I respond? Uh, check, please. Check, please. No, Captain Savaho. 
You want a girl that's easy going, easy to get along with, who's normal, not a girl who's got all kinds of issues. So she's not loyal. She willingly cheats on her boyfriend. She has suicidal thoughts. You start having sex with her. She's like, I want to have your babies. Tells me that she's probably incredibly insecure, cannot stand being alone. Even though she has a boyfriend when he's not around, what's she doing? She's hanging out with other guys, fucking other guys, inviting attention from other men. This is the type of thing you're like, man, I just should not have drank so much the other night because I ended up going home with this girl that's got a boyfriend. So how should you respond? I wouldn't be responding at all. I'd be like, hey, you know, you have a boyfriend. It's, you know, what we did was wrong. I'm, you know, I, I'm kind of mad at myself. You, you were kind of irresistible. You took advantage of me when I was a little inebriated. It's, I just don't want to get involved with a girl that's got a boyfriend. It's like, it shouldn't have happened. It was wonderful, but it shouldn't have happened. And I just, I can't get involved with you. That's the right thing to do. That's what a man of integrity is going to do, even though you drank too much and you end up sleeping with this other guy's chick. It's just not worth it. So we have this. I, I had, uh, I've, I've told this story many times over, over the years in other videos, but my younger brother, when he was in college, he was he was a valet guy, and one of his good friends was also valet. And there was this really cute hostess that, that worked at the restaurant that they were doing valet at. And after he got off work, my brother's friend and this girl, they were going back to her place to hang out. And unbeknownst to him, he had or she had some crazy ex-boyfriend that was kind of stalking her. He had no idea. He was just over there thinking, hey, this girl likes me. She's cute goes over there and what happens kind of same thing like that happened on the twitter video i was talking about earlier dude shows up shoots to death my brother's friend she's freaking out and he's and then the guy's like see what you made me do and then he does the same thing points the gun at his head and blows his own brains out right in front of her and it's like and my brother just happened to go home with the wrong girl that night he had no idea that she had this wacky ex-boyfriend in the picture and it cost him his life so it's like, you guys got to think of, you know, you got to think with the right head because this type of shit, screwing around with some other guy's girl like that, that can, that, that can absolutely get you killed and does happen. And it happened, again, it just happened recently. That whole, that video was going viral on Twitter. And so by the time you guys actually watch this video, it'll be what it actually happened last week. It's just horrible. It's not worth it, man. It's like when you have a book like this, find yourself a good woman who's loyal and faithful. This is the kind of thing you're like, you charge it to the game. You're like, hey, it was good sex. It was fun. All the shit in Corey's book works. But, man, I should not be using it to be a dirtbag. So if you've got a question or challenge and you'd like to get my help, go to understandingrelationships.com. Click the products tab at the top of your screen on any page and book a coaching session with yours truly. Until next time, I will talk to you soon. 